Hello there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. I post all things fashion, beauty, and lifestyle related that are also vegan and cruelty free. So if those things are interesting to you, please subscribe to this channel and stick around for some more videos like this one. So today I'm going to be introducing you to a new vegan handbag. I am so excited. These are my favorite videos to film because I love fashion and I've loved fashion my entire life. So when I went vegan for ethical reasons, it only made sense to translate that to all areas of my life. I knew when I went vegan that there was no way I would ever buy a product that was made from an animal skin ever again. So something I'm really passionate about is supporting brands that come out with vegan handbags or brands that have entirely vegan products. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a 100% vegan handbag brand. This is a female owned company. It's called Freya. And I have been hanging on to this bag since it came in the mail because I wanted to unbox it with you and kind of get my first impressions. And then I'm gonna do something different with this video. I'm actually gonna carry it for about a week and then I'm gonna check in with you after the week is over and let you know how I liked it. That way I have a little bit more insight as to the things I like and don't like about it while I'm using it as opposed to just a first impression. Also apologies, the lighting is going crazy in this video. It keeps going in and out, so yeah, if it's inconsistent, that's why. I usually film a little bit later in the day, but we'll work through it. All right, so here's the box. It is heavy. So the bag I got is the Paloma Tote. They have a few styles. Um, I knew I wanted a bigger bag to kind of just become like my everyday bag for when I need to lug around my laptop and things like that. That's just kind of how the world has been lately. Um, if I do leave my house, I'm like leaving for a while. So um, I haven't been wearing as many cute small bags because I'm not really going out to dinner. So smaller bags aren't a huge necessity for me right now, but bigger bags are. So, it's got this tissue paper with the little sticker that says Freya New York. I'm so excited. This is so fun to do with you guys on camera because I feel like I always get this excited about new things, but we get to do it together. Oh, so cute. So uh, Jenny is the creator of Freya. She sent a little note that said, I'm so excited to share our Paloma tote with you. It's handcrafted in a batch of 100 and ready to carry all your goodies. Can't wait to hear what you think and hope you'll be doing well in sunny California. Lots of love, Jenny. So cute. So Freya did gift this to me to share with you all and I'm so, so grateful for that. So it comes in a beautiful dust bag, a very large dust bag. I need to get better about storing my bags in dust bags, um, especially the bigger ones. Smaller ones sometimes I it's easier to remember. Oh my god, I already love the color so much. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. I like have to smell it because it looks like leather. It's got like a really nice pebbled pattern to it. So it definitely looks like real leather. There's absolutely no way if you were walking down the street, you could tell the difference between this and a leather bag. No way. Okay, I'm gonna take these strap protectors off. So that is with the strap protectors off. I believe this color is called Latte, which I love. I love lattes. Oat milk, preferably. And iced, always iced. So we'll talk about the outside first. It's got this nice stitching down the middle on both the front and the back. Very luxurious. It just makes it look more high quality. I love that detail so much. And the shape of this. The shape is actually incredible. It gives me like kind of Celine vibes, but better. I think that this shape makes a lot more sense. So on the side here, you can see it's got the three different folds for this center pocket that's a little bit bigger and then the two side pockets right there. And it actually, the two side pockets actually come down a little lower than the center pocket, which I'll show you the bottom of the bag. If you look at the bottom of the bag, you can see a little bit more where the sides come out a little bit. It, they almost look like they're separate from the main bag, but they're not. They are conjoined and there's a really nice Big patch of leather right here that I feel like, again, just makes, just 
just adds a nice detail of luxury. Also, the logo is stamped in right here. I love how subtle that is. It's not in your face, but yet the fact that a brand is on the bag, I think just kind of elevates it a little bit. And then strap wise, you have these two straps right here. There's no longer additional strap, which I think is fine for a bag that's this big. I don't think I would really use the long strap that much. So I like that. Now we can get into the pocket. The first pocket, it has a snap closure and it has two pockets on the inside right here. It's a pretty thin pocket, but it's really spacious. Like there's definitely room to put, you know, if you like a planner, like I like to use a planner, you could put that in there. Important papers that you need easy access to. And then on the other side, you get that same type of pocket, but there's no smaller pockets, just one big pocket. And all of the hardware on this is a really pretty shiny gold. It's a very light gold, so it doesn't look cheap. It looks really nice. Then you have your middle pocket and it has a zipper with that same gold hardware on it. As you can see, it doesn't zip all the way. It leaves a little bit of space, but it zips a pretty good amount. So on the inside of this, you have one flap pocket right here that has a zipper as well as an open pocket. I love that to put like jewelry if you need to take your jewelry off for any reason. I love having a little safe zip pocket for things like that. And then the other side, you have two smaller pockets right here. And this side also has a tag right here that has the brand on it again. It says Freya New York Handmade with Love. So cute. And this bigger middle pocket is very, very, very roomy. You can fit a lot of things in that. And that's why I got this bag was because it fits a 15 inch laptop. So I'm gonna grab my laptop and we are going to put it to the test. All right, so here's my 15 inch laptop. Perfect fit. Definitely enough room for a 15 inch laptop. I would say even bigger. I love that I can actually put a case on it when it's in here. As you can see, it fits no problem. You cannot tell that there's a laptop in there. And I even have room to zip it up so that it doesn't fall out. I guess I will show you what it looks like on. So, that's what it looks like on. All right, so that is about all I can tell you as far as first impressions wise. It is really durable. I can already tell that this, this is going to withstand my chucking of a bag. I'm actually like okay with treating my bags okay, but like I said, I'm not like one of those puts it in a dust bag, stuffs it after each use kind of people. I am a little more carefree with my handbags, but I can tell that this one is very durable and it's gonna be easy to clean as well. That is one of the bonuses I will say about vegan leather is that it's easy to clean. Whereas I remember with light leather bags back in the day, I would always get afraid I would stain them. I would always be afraid of getting oil stains on them. That happened to me once and I was devastated. It was never the same. With this, you just wipe it off with a wet washcloth. Something that I think is really misleading is a lot of people just assume that if a handbag is vegan, it's made with PVC, um, which is essentially plastic and that is not the case. There are so many alternatives to PVC in the world of vegan leather. I mean, they're even using cactus now is a new one that I've heard about and like pineapple. So do not be fooled into thinking that all vegan handbags are poor quality because they're all made with PVC. This particular bag is not PVC or PU based. This is made out of a fabric called ultra fiber. It's a leather-like breathable fabric made by layering resin over microfiber and commonly used where durability and premium performance is a priority like airplanes and sporting goods. Used by companies like Gucci and Louis Vuitton for the linings of their bags and BMW for their seats. Amazing. Um, yeah, I've noticed that because I've been car shopping. I need a new car really bad and I've been looking for something that has a leather alternative and it seems like that's the direction a lot of cars are going in um, is leather alternatives instead of real leather. I think there are options that are more durable than leather. 
including this one. This is my new bag for the week. I will be carrying it all week and I will check in with you at the end of the week with my final thoughts on how it carries, things I liked and maybe didn't like about it. So I will see you all then. All right, I am back. It is me from the future and I'm here to round out my thoughts about the Freya bag and I also wanted to show you everything that I keep in it. So I've been carrying it for a few weeks now. This is the only bag that I have been carrying and as you can see it is stuffed <laughs> with stuff. I figured we'd walk through, I can like show you where I keep everything. Maybe you can get inspired if you have a similar bag situation. One thing I noticed that I really, really like is that you have both the versatility of the zip compartment and the snap compartment because for certain things that I'm always like pulling out and putting back in my bag, like my planner, which this is my planner, it's from Ivory Paper Co. This I'm always, you know, checking a date, putting it back in, and this thing is big. So I really love this pocket for that. I use the pocket that doesn't have any other pockets in it and I just kind of leave it open. So because my planner is so thick, it doesn't really snap close, which I could see that being an inconvenience to some people, but it's not for me. I don't mind it at all. And um, I could very easily fit it in the zipper pocket if I wanted to, if I wanted this one to close, but I actually prefer the convenience of just being able to grab it really quickly. So I really like that. On the other pocket is where I have more of like my valuable things that are a little more small. I always have a hard drive on me because if I have my computer, I'm most likely going to be editing. So I always have a hard drive. My wallet, I still have not gotten a new wallet. I know I've talked about that in a previous video because this one is like so old. It's definitely just like a cheap faux leather wallet from Target from many, many years ago, and it's time for me to upgrade, but it's so hard to spend money on something to keep your money in, you know? It just mm, irks me. I almost always have dog treats of some sort, so I have these Shameless Pets dental sticks. I really like these because they're all like chickpeas, tapioca, blueberry, chia seeds, flaxseed, apple cider vinegar, mint, like all really good stuff. And yeah, my dogs are old and they need teeth cleaning. So that's what I keep in that front pocket. And then in the zippered pocket is where I keep my laptop. I just absolutely love how easily the laptop fits in this bag. It has been such a game changer for me. And in the little zipper part, I have earrings because there's a good chance if I'm wearing earrings I will take them off at some point in the day when I've just had enough and a memory card which probably shouldn't be loose like that in here um, don't tell Jesse so I keep those in this little zipper pocket in these pockets I have like all of my hand creams lip products things like that. So I have this hand cream, this rose hand cream. I have this Rare Beauty lipstick, Too Faced Plumper, which is my favorite lip product ever. And then this fragrance from Seven Virtues. That's ah, so nice. Headphones. I have the old headphones with the cord, okay? I keep it classic. And then also some sunglasses because it has been a little sunny lately. So that is what's in my bag. I have just been loving this bag so much. It is just so easy to just throw over my shoulder. It has everything I need um, and it's not uncomfortable to carry or anything like that. It is beautiful and functional and I think that's really hard to come by. It's definitely very high quality so I think you will get your money's worth if you invest in a bag like this. And I definitely think those of you who are constantly lugging around a lot of stuff like I am, like a laptop and a hard drive and all the things, you will love this bag. It is so great for that. But they also have some really great smaller styles as well if you don't need a big bag. So definitely check them out. I will leave them linked in the description box down below. And thank you so much to Freya for sending me this bag and working with me on this video. I am so excited to share this with y'all. There are just so many amazing options when it comes to vegan handbags. Long gone are the days of just only getting the faux leather option at a fast fashion place. You can really get something nice and quality and something that you'll have for many, 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 many years made of a vegan material and nobody had to 
be harmed in the process and that is really great. Let me know in the comments down below what type of handbag you like to carry because I'd be very interested to hear how many of us like the bigger bags, like the smaller bags, or a little bit of both. I consider myself a little bit of both because I definitely like the bigger bags, but if I'm going out at night or I'm going to a nice dinner, I love a really cute, stylish handbag. So I definitely think I teeter on both, but let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel before you go. If you want to see more videos like this, I would love to have you. And I will see you next time in another video. Bye. Thank you.